Before we get in the video, please like, make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications, go ahead and leave a comment below. And click on the how you can help, which brings up the Family for the Game website and gives you lots of ideas how you can help us. Thank you. Uh, so my second topic is E3. Is E3. E3, uh, E3 has been canceled due to the coronavirus. The people who are controlled and their puppet master is fear it controls them and tells them what to do they're freaking out now it there is an interesting uh sidebar related to e3 being canceled Stupid things going around the United States. for those don't know i was actually planning on going to e3 this year I hadn't been in quite a few years i don't remember the last year i went year. i hadn't gone in four or five years maybe mm, i don't think you've gone since i've been in high school so, so it's been at least four years, been probably. At least four. You four or five gone years. Grade. I know you went seventh grade. Okay, so it's been four to five years since I last went to an E three. I honestly got sick and tired of. I, I guess I got sick and tired of being lied to over and over and over again. E three. I guess no. Last and, time you was back when Skylanders, Disney, and Disney and Lego Dimensions were all in the works. Yeah, so it's been probably. Like I said probably four or five years. It's been a while. I mean, and, and I'll admit I've been enjoying covering it here from Memphis. It's been great. It's been awesome. Easier. It's been a lot easier. Um, it's been more fun. It's, I mean, it's 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 a lot of work with all of the press releases, all of the images, all of the you know uh, different articles that we have to write, all of the videos we do, like the the reacts and the the live stream reacts to the press conferences. That takes a lot of time, effort, money. We're having to check all these things, make sure all the equipment's working. I mean, there's a lot of effort on our part. Okay, so. It's better for us to cover it here. And, and I have a couple thoughts. And, and my first thought when I heard E3 was canceled was, is this the final nail in the coffin of E3? And you might be like, what do you mean, man? E3's been going awesome. with you. E3 has been shrinking. Nintendo backed off and didn't do their press conference anymore. Now they have their... Square has their own... Con Ubisoft. Con hold on. Hold on with that thought. Their own control freak um, uh, videos they release. It's kind of funny. They, they don't even want... Uh, live reacts to what they have to say and show and do. Instead, they just want to completely control with Nintendo Direct. And then they, they want to control the narrative, which is like, okay, whatever, but... They don't that, want to reveal too much about a game because someone would be talking for it and they're not supposed to say something. And then, yeah. boom, you find out that Animal Crossing 2020 has dragons or something stupid like that. Yeah. Well, it could have like a dragon animal or something in there. Like, it's just out of yeah. nowhere. Something you yeah. would have never expected. So they, they freaked out. Um, you know, and, and year, many years ago, Nintendo backed off and stopped doing the press conferences. And I always kind of liked their Nintendo press conferences. And I, I even ran into Reggie Fils and me in the bathroom a couple of times. Uh, just, you know, polite chit-chat type of deal. Nothing, you know, too major. And I've run into quite a bit other uh, major CEOs and presidents and executives and, you know, well-known game developers at E3. And I ran into Hulk Hogan. At E3 one time, when he had that that Hulk uh, Hulk Hogan's main event oh. game, which was horrible by the way, but it was hilarious to see Hulk Hogan at E3. Okay, it was funny. It was really funny. Um, I didn't realize how much of a stuck up snob he actually is. That was my experience with him. I mean, uh, he was he was self absorbed. I mean, and it was just kind of like, you want to talk prima donna? Oh my goodness, Hulk Hogan was such a prima donna. So, so uh, my thought was, is this the final nail in the coffin? Is E3 going to be canceled forever? Because Sony recently stopped going entirely. I don't think Blizzard goes. Blizzard has BlizzCon. Um, does Bungie go? Bungie does not. Bungie doesn't They're go. They're not a part of Activision anymore. Bungie does yeah. live streams. So there's a lot of companies who have been stepping away from E3. Um, doesn't Square Enix have their own, or are they just basically at Sony's? I think Square Enix. Square Enix. Own. When I went, Square Enix had their own. I don't know I mean, recently. 
think that they had their own, or they were in their own. Place. They might have their own, like, um, I think they started their own Ubisoft press conference. Their own, yeah, Ubisoft has their own place. Ubisoft's got their own press conference. EA's got their own press conference. EA actually changed theirs last year to, like, multiple press conferences, and they moved it to, like, the weekend before as well. And so Konami had been doing theirs, like, the Friday before. <laughs> Konami. Um, well, I mean, they'll show you a Metal Gear Solid, and they'll show you a PES, and maybe they have something else. Maybe a Bomberman. Metal Man. Gear got canceled when the guy left. Did they? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. So they have nothing. So we'll see what they got this year. And, and this year will be really interesting. Um, it'll be everyone doing what we do, which is cover it from their own location. So that will be fascinating. Although, I, I honestly admit, I think they're freaking out a little too early because that's not until June. And we're in March. So, I mean, the coronavirus could be completely, like, done and dead. and It could be, you but know, I mean... Don't know that. So, but, but whatever they want to, they want to freak out over it. Let them freak out over it, and they want to. I, I really don't My mind them stopping. My suspicion is that a bunch of those places needed an excuse not to, to go. break their contract with them because they probably had a contract to keep going to that press conference. Yeah, press conference they could, they could break their contract. The coronavirus just was their escape, so that they could stream because they knew that was more cost effective. Yeah. So yeah. it may not be so much that they're freaking out; it's more of. We have an out. Let's take it. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I, I, I understand them having an out, and I get it. I, I think it's I think it's kind of cool that they're taking the out and being like, "See ya." So, um, so that's pretty that's pretty interesting. Uh, a sidebar related to E three uh, being canceled. Normally, in January is when I register for E three, and um, this year, since Peter's uh, going to be eighteen by the time E three's around. I was going to have bring Peter and let him get the E3 experience for once. What's fascinating about this is you ever, you ever have people ask, why does God let bad things happen to good people? Let me tell you what happened to us. Oh, we got another new follower. You'll be able to chat in 10 minutes. And you are, what is that? Relax Max. Hey, Relax Max. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you for your follow. Plus two, so I think we're at two eleven now. Yeah. We'll hit our we hit our two ten goal, I believe. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Uh, and like I said, in ten minutes you'll be able to chat. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, hopefully, I should still be here in ten minutes. The way it's going, what I'm talking about. So, I've had people say, "Why does God allow bad things to happen to good people?" Let me tell you what happened to us late December, early January, early February. Now I've already talked about these issues. Um, but this is just recap real quick. We got um, flagged with a copyright strike violation by Ubisoft late December. That escalated early January, and they hit us with 13 more copyright strikes. You might be like, 13? That's crazy. When YouTube gives you three, when, they, when YouTube says you have three, your channel is terminated in seven days. So we had to fight that for like, I don't know, a week or so. Um, so, oh, 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 I think Peter's going to let you chat now. Relax, Max, so you can chat if you want to chat for a minute. Um, so, so our, we were threatened to have our YouTube channel terminated by Ubisoft. We worked that out with Ubisoft, and then Zumba does a similar thing to us. And here's the thing. We had a, we had a contract and a license with Ubisoft. We had a contract and a license with Zumba. These things happened in this time frame that I would normally be setting up for, for, for buying plane tickets, buying hotel, you know, getting registered, doing all of that, spending the close to $2,000 so we could go over to E3 from Memphis in Los Angeles. So, so this happened, this happened, this happened. Had to deal with a lawsuit. Had to deal with our channel getting terminated. Still like, to deal with a lawsuit. yeah, don't worry about that one right now. Um, so all these things were coming up, and it was like I'm looking at finances, and it's like no, I'm I, I I can't, you know, with everything going on, all these things we're dealing with, I can't just throw two grand away to get to Los Angeles for E3, and so I said, forget it, not doing E3, not not going E3, just. And when that happens, I had a real, a real peace about things. 
I look back at it now and find out, you know, now in March that they cancel E3. I'm like, oh, thank goodness. I am so appreciative that God let all those problems hit me because it stopped me from actually going to purchase tickets. Like if I had the plane tickets, I don't ever get the ones you can like, you know, change. You have to take them or, or you're just out the money. Same with hotel. And that's like the cheaper way of doing it because it costs even more money to sit there and do all the stuff where you can go finagle it and change it for stuff. So I was going, we would have been out a lot of money. Like, uh, you know, close to $2,000, we would have been out that we would have just lost, not been able to use the tickets to go to E3. So to me, E3 getting canceled awesome. was like perfect because we had all these problems hit us. And the thing was, we had been good with these companies for years. And we're good with them again. Like, you know, we're good with Zumba. Here, we're problem. good with Ubisoft again. What about the new games they're going to bring out? They're not going to bring new content, are they? They'll have live streams. They'll do videos. No, they'll, they'll show it. We can react, okay? Yeah. So, so to me, it's like, okay, this, this worked really well. You know, and, and it's one of those things. It goes back to, you know, what I said before. Is why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Mm -hmm.